the newspaper publications and the letters we saw over the social media. Somebody unwanted list by the EFCC for fraud-related matters left the country for so many years and he was dismissed from the public service. And all of a sudden that person came back, not only came back to the country, uh, he came back and smuggled some people close to the government, smuggled him into the public service. When the person left, he left as assistant director. But when he was coming back, he was given a position of director, not even a deputy director, Mr. President. And this person that is on wanted list, Mr. President, when he came back to the country, people are seeing him with even policemen attached to him. So I don't understand why a government that is always talking about fighting corruption, then the same people who are close to the president are fighting, are, are covering people that are highly corrupt in the society. I think, Mr. President, uh, the, the office, the office of the Attorney General was fingered in this controversy. And I think this Senate, in the Seventh Assembly, even investigated the matter. And the person was declared wanted. So I think in the government whereby we are preaching the right thing to be done, then I think it's a big embarrassment for this government. So we need this Senate, I think, to investigate this matter and find out how did the person come back how is it that security men are attached to him, nobody arrested him, somebody that is still on wanted list by the EFCC and now given a position of director? I think it's unfortunate and uh, to me I feel that it is only the president that is even talking about the corruption but people surrounding the president are the ones even giving cover, shelter for corrupt individuals. Uh, thank you Mr. President. Yes, Chief Whip.